Okay. That's why you gotta love a Baron. Not even at blue line. Resume navigation to you. Climbing. Resume navigation. Engines all messed up. I started feeling a small shaking. Reduce the power a little bit to try to get better vibration at lower RPM. Started seeing oil coming out of there, and then boom, engine exploded. <laughs> Looks good, buddy. That's why you gotta have a twin, two engines, huh, Mr. Gleep? Sure. You're looking good? What's wrong with you? You look yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't be probably videotaping, but this airplane is just flying beautifully by itself. Everything is nice and smooth. Beautiful view at least, with the sunset, engine all blown up, so you gotta love a bairn. Oh no, no. Nice to have two engines. Bravo, Norcal. 7-7, Bravo, Alpha 7, Julie Bravo, go ahead. 7 Julie Bravo, that uh, traffic's now 1 o'clock, 2 miles westbound, caravan 7,000 level. 7 Julie Bravo, we have him in sight now. 7 Julie Bravo, contact approach 125.35, let him know you have the caravan in sight. 2535, good day, 7 Julie Bravo. Okay. 700 so established, cleared out at Yankee 2 left, pack probably 76, 79. Flight 69, it's going to be a while before I can get you an approach. Just hold DFR north of Livermore. November 7, Julie Bravo, North, tell you up. Yes, sir, we're with you and we have the caravan in sight. 7, Julie Bravo, Roger, thank you. Are you direct Hayward? We are direct Hayward at this time, and um, you probably heard already, we're a single engine bearing. 7, Julie Bravo, understood, thank you. Bearing 7, 7, Julie Bravo, wind now 2605, altimeter still 3003, clear to land 28 left. To land, 28 left, 9 Tango Whiskey. That's a 669 six, Tango Whiskey, Hayward Tower. Uh, remain clear of the Delta, I've got emergency aircraft inbound. I'll call you back in here in just a moment. North lane, 9 Tango Whiskey. 7 Julie Bravo, we got the 28 left landing clearance, thank you. Thank you. See a lot of lights coming, is that for us? Hey, for a minute. Alrighty, hopefully we won't need them. This is what you train for. Just normal approach, single engine approach, landing. Nothing difficult about it. And that's it, and then you get a perfect landing, just like this. On the center line with one engine. So, Julie Bravo, we can take Echo and keep it rolling to the um, green room. Bearing 77, Julie Bravo, sounds good to me. Right turn at Echo. Cross runway 28 right and taxi to parking via Alpha. Just monitor ground 1 to 1.4. Alright, thanks a lot, and uh, we'll talk to you again, hopefully on a better day. It's always a good day when we get back here safely. Have a good night. This is what failed first? No. no. I think the cylinder failed first. I think one of those studs failed. Stud? Awesome. You see where that one, that one failed in the thread area? Same with this one. And that could have caused the failure. So one failing one right there. can cause the whole thing to snap off? 
it was a start. It starts rocking the cylinder in this direction. And then it'll cause something like this where it starts to break off. Either that or these are the ones where it started first internal to the engine. You see that's shiny though, but that might have been impacted by something. What you look for this dullness is um I forgot the technical term, but it's when the uh pieces of metal are pulled apart mm. elastically and it creates grains like that. But when you see something shiny like you see here in this spot, it can be the the root of the problem. You see how it's kind of a different shade of color? Yeah. Either it's been hit, which is possible, or it's the um, could have originated from it. There's a heat zone and everything there. 